so far I haven't yet to find any video that actually shows that, uh, the network of tunnels that Hamas uses to uh, do their attacks. Why hasn't the Israeli government been able to show these tunnels, especially like at the Al Shaif uh, Hospital, that is supposedly the headquarters of Hamas? They didn't show any tunnels whatsoever underneath the hospital. And tonight, our Raf Sanchez reports from inside Gaza with a first hand look at the Palestinians trying to make their way to safer ground. Under the watchful eyes of Israeli troops, an exodus of Palestinians from Gaza City is underway. Children with their hands up, their parents clutching ID cards, the white flag flying amid the destruction. We've been covering this war for more than a month, but this is the first time that we are seeing with our own eyes Palestinian civilians inside of Gaza. This is what Israel's military calls a humanitarian corridor, open a few hours each day for civilians to flee on foot and escape the fighting raging in Gaza City. A well, I guess if you're not lucky enough to get through during those few hours that the Israeli government gives you it, leave well hopefully you don't get killed in an airstrike the next day a quarter of a million palestinians have taken this route so far israel says as a condition of access nbc news agreed to blur some faces and submit our raw footage to israel's military censors though not our final story i think everyone Jew and Israeli can be proud of the fact that we're letting innocent civilians out of the fighting area, out of the fighting zone to clear it out. For Israel, this... I mean, yeah, that's good and all, but that doesn't, like, uh, eclipse the fact that the Israeli government is also killing scores of innocent Palestinians as well. This is proof their war is only against Hamas, not the people of Gaza. But for many Palestinians, this feels like forced displacement. We ask Israel's military. Can you guarantee that these people will be able to return home one day? I think that that is really going to be in the hands of a lot of different players. One of the main ones is going to be Hamas. Wait a minute. If they defeat Hamas, why would Hamas be one of the main players if the if Palestinian people get to go back to their land. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, though, we all know that the Israeli military is looking to keep this land and prevent Palestinians from being able to return. Uh, what Netanyahu is against uh, uh, Palestinian kids being able to receive refugee status so that they cannot get land that has been taken from their families. Soldiers call out in Hebrew in case Hamas is smuggling hostages in the crowd. So they're like asking the children, put your arms up, put your arms up, we'll come and save you, don't worry. So far, no sign of the hostages. Israel believes they're hidden in Hamas's vast network of tunnels, like this shaft in a rural area near the border. We know that if you were to go through this and map out what this leads to, you would reach our hostages. They found nothing in this tunnel. Okay, it, I mean, if that's true, why isn't the Israeli government sending uh, the IDF, you know, they could send some special squads down into the tunnels and get these hostages that, that they know where they're at. I mean, they know, like, entrances to these tunnels, yet they don't, like, show us the inside, nor is any of the, like, IDF, like actively going into these tunnels to get the hostages. Why is that the case? Are there actually tunnels? Now, they're lowering explosives. Moments later, Israel searching for hostages held in darkness. Palestinians heading into an exile of dust and despair. Raf Sanchez.